The McDonnell XF-85 Goblin is an American prototype fighter aircraft conceived during World War II by McDonnell Aircraft. The XF-85's intended role was to defend bombers from hostile interceptor aircraft, a need demonstrated during World War II. McDonnell built two prototypes before the Air Force terminated the program. The XF-85 was a diminutive jet aircraft featuring a distinctive egg-shaped fuselage and a forked tail stabilizer design. Flight tests showed promise in the design, but the aircraft's performance was inferior to the jet fighters it would have faced in combat, and there were difficulties in docking. The 1947 successor to the USAAF, the United States Air Force, continued to examine the concept of parasite aircraft under three related projects following the cancellation, MX-106, Tiptoe, Ficon, and TomTom. -tom. During World War II, American bombers such as the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, Consolidated B-24 Liberator, and Boeing B-29 Superfortress were protected by long-range escort fighters such as the Republic P-47 Thunderbolt and North American P-51 Mustang. These fighters could not match the range of the Northrop B-35 or Convair B-36, the next generation of bombers developed by the United States Army Air Forces. Pilot fatigue had also been a problem during long fighter escort missions in Europe and the Pacific, giving further impetus to innovative approaches. The USAAF considered a number of different options including the use of remotely piloted vehicles before choosing parasite fighters as the most viable B-36 defense. The concept of a parasite fighter had its origins in 1918, when the Royal Air Force examined the viability of Sopwith Camel parasite fighters operating from their 23-class airships. In the 1930s, the U.S. Navy had a short-lived operational parasite fighter, the Curtis F-9C Sparrowhawk, aboard the airships Akron and Macon. Starting in 1931, aircraft designer Vladimir Vikmistrov conducted experiments in the Soviet Union as part of the Zaveno project during which up to five fighters of various types were carried by Polikarpov TB-2 and Tupolev TB-3 bombers. In August 1941, these combinations flew the only combat missions ever undertaken by parasite fighters, TB-3s carrying Polikarpov I-16 SPB dive bombers attacked the Cernovoda Bridge and Constanza docks, in Romania. Later in World War II, the Luftwaffe experimented with the Messerschmitt Mi-328 as a parasite fighter, but problems with its pulse jet engines could not be overcome. By January 1944, the Air Technical Service Command refined the RFP and, in January 1945, the specifications were further revised in MX-472 to specify a jet-powered aircraft. Although a number of aerospace companies studied the feasibility of such aircraft, McDonnell was the only company to submit a proposal to the original 1942 request and later revised requirements. The initial concept for the Model 27 was for the fighter to be carried half exposed under the B-29, B-35, or B-36. On 19 March 1945, McDonnell's design team led by Herman D. Barkey, submitted a revised proposal, the extensively redesigned Model 27D. The smaller aircraft had an egg-shaped fuselage, three fork-shaped vertical stabilizers, horizontal stabilizers with a significant dihedral, and 37 degrees swept back folding wings to allow it to fit in the confines of a bomb bay. The diminutive aircraft measured 14 feet 10 in long, the folding wings spanned 21 feet. A hook was installed along the aircraft's center of gravity, in flight, it retracted to lie flat in the upper part of the nose. The aircraft had an empty weight just short of 4,000 pounds. 4.50 in machine guns in the nose made up the aircraft's armament. In service, the parasite fighter would be launched and retrieved by a trapeze. In recovery, the aircraft would approach the mothership from underneath and link up with the trapeze using the retractable hook in the aircraft's nose. The anticipated production shift would see a mixed B-36 fleet with both fighter carriers and bombers employed on missions. Up to 10% of the B-36s on order were to be converted to fighter carriers with three or four F-85s instead of a bomb load. On 9 October 1945, the USAAF signed a letter of intent covering the engineering development for two prototypes, although the contract was not finalized until February 1947. On 23 July 1948, the XF-85 flew the first of five captive flights, designed to test whether the EB-29B and its parasite fighter could fly, mated. The XF-85 was carried in a stowed position, but was sometimes tethered and extended into the airstream with the engine off, for the pilot to gain some feel for the aircraft in flight. When he attempted a hookup, it became obvious the Goblin was extremely sensitive to the bomber's turbulence, as well as being affected by the air cushion created by the two aircraft operating in close proximity. 
Shock used the down period to undertake a series of problem-free dummy dockings with a Lockheed P-80 shooting starfighter. The XF-85's deficiencies revealed in flight testing included a lackluster performance in relation to contemporary jet fighters, and the high demands on pilot skill experienced during docking revealed a critical shortcoming that was never fully corrected. The development of practical aerial refueling for conventional fighters used as bomber escort was also a factor in the cancellation. Shock was the only pilot who ever flew the aircraft. Despite cancellation of the XF-85, the USAF continued to examine the concept of parasite aircraft as defensive fighters through a series of projects. These included Project MX-106, Tiptoe, Project Ficon, and Project Tom Tom, which involved fighter aircraft attached to bomber aircraft by their wingtips. A total of 10 converted B-36s and 25 reconnaissance fighters saw limited service with the Strategic Air Command in 1955-1956, before they were supplemented by more effective aircraft and satellite systems. Following the cancellation of the program, the aircraft was transferred to the museum on 23 August 1950 and was one of the first experimental aircraft to be displayed at the new Air Force Museum. For several decades, the aircraft was displayed alongside the museum's Convair B-36. In 2000, the aircraft was moved to the museum's experimental aircraft hangar.